So let's start with the unboxing of the Fantech X11 Daredevil RGB gaming mouse. As you can see the packaging looks quite good. On the front of the packaging you'll see all the features that's listed there. The 16.8 million colors, the 8000 dpi and so on. All the features on the front end of the cover. Uh, you do have the ability also to open up the box to just preview the mouse. So if you just open up the front side of this box you will be able to view inside and inside of the box you will be able to like just test the mouse get the feel for it if it's the correct size for you and so on and on the inside of the flip over cover there's also some additional features of the mouse that you can just have a look at so on the side of the box you just have some more specifications and features bottom and the other side just the same basics and at the back also just some features so let's start with the unboxing now you see it's standard packaging as normal mice would be in standard packaging inside the box there's a card with the links for all the downloads and the social links you do also get some extra mouse feet for your mouse and then you do have the mouse inside of this plastic cover which is quite nicely covered there's the Daredevil gaming mouse very good mouse it looks quite good and you also get this braided cable with the mouse uh, which is quite nice for a mouse because uh, that means the ca cables won't get tangled or anything like that so it's quite good so that's the unboxing now let's start with the review so let's get to the review right after this so you live in south africa and want great gaming products at great prices then look no farther than jam.co.za here you can find some of the top quality gaming products that's to offer in South Africa at very affordable prices. They also have all the Fantech ranges here as they are the sole supplier of Fantech in South Africa. They also have amazing mouse pads that you can find which is very uniquely designed. Have a look at their website. Okay, let's have a look at the Fantech Daredevil mouse. Uh, if you have a look at it from the start, it looks quite like the Logitech G502 gaming mouse, which is one of the most favorable gaming mouse out there from all of the other brands. Uh, the people prefer the Logitech because it's a very comfortable mouse and it does have a lot of features that you can use. Now, if you compare it to the Logitech G502 mouse, you will see it has the same design and the same shape as it, whereas Logitech G502 has the same engravement here the buttons looks a bit similar also here the design of the buttons looks similar so very similar to the Logitech mouse so let's see how it can compare to to mice like the Logitech and other gaming mouse from scratch you see it's a very comfortable design if you look at the mouse uh, the mouse itself is not too high so it doesn't tire your hand when you do have it in your hand for especially palm grip uh, the mouse is not too wide so also it doesn't labor your pinky and your thumb to use the mouse so the design is very ergonomical it looks good and it feels very comfortable I've been using this mouse for a while now and in my opinion it's a very comfortable mouse um, on the side you'll see the mouse has the RGB lighting engravement here where you also have this uh, rough engravement feature on the side of the mouse that ensures that your thumb doesn't just fall off of the the mouse you have this thumb rest here that makes sure that your thumb doesn't rub against the mouse pad which is good for traction and also when you're playing first person shooters uh, like counter-strike so that you don't have that drag when you do uh, hit your thumb against the mouse pad you have a sniper button here that you can use on the mouse you also have the two buttons on the side of the mouse on this side Looking at the front end, you see you have the RGB Fantech logo here, which is RGB enlightened. Uh, on the right hand side, you have this design engraved into the mouse, which looks quite good. It almost give, gives it a warrior feel if you look at it that way. Uh, on the side, you have the uh, engraved side again, so that your pinky is comfortable and connected to the mouse. And it's rough enough uh, so that your pinky doesn't fall off, but it's also smooth enough so that it doesn't hurt you. Looking at the top of the mouse, you'll see you have your DPI plus and minus buttons as well as your scroller wheel here, which has the RGB lighting engraved in it as well. And what I also like about this mouse is that your left and right click button is separate from the rest of the body of the mouse. 
where I've seen a lot of the mice from other products has the complete setup where the two left and right click buttons go as a complete unit for the mouse which is sometimes for me a bit draggy as it feels you have to hard click the buttons but this mouse is quite easy to click and comfortable to click the right click button the only one that has a bit of uh, more effort to use but the left click button is quite comfortable so the buttons as you can see it's long it reaches your fingers and at the top you have a nice uh, braided cable for the mouse which is also a very good feature especially if you look at gaming mice where you can get your ta uh, cables tangled quite easily um, this cable is braided so you know it can't get tangled and for this price point of the mouse it's quite good to have a braided cable since just considering in South Africa the mouse is going for 399 Rand at a jammed website www.jammed.co.za so some features of the mouse uh, the DPI buttons here set your DPI uh, the minus button here makes the DPI go down and the plus button of course makes the DPI go up you do have six DPI settings on the mouse which allows you to switch and jump between six DPI settings uh, the side button here or the side lighting here of the mouse is also quite useful it shows you what the current DPI is set to so if you have it on the lowest DPI there's only one red uh, stripe there and the higher you go it will show you how high your DPI is going so it's a good feature for you to have a look at your DPI without having to worry uh, where I am now or having to test the mouse so it's very good to have that at the bottom of the mouse you'll see you have your x11 daredevil engraving there you have your mouse feet and like we also said you do get some extra feet in the box as you can see you also get some extra mouse feet there so if this feet does wear out you do have the option to put on some extra feet on the mouse which is quite good the only downfall here is that you can see the mouse does not have a uh, manual weight system where you can take out your weight and adjust it so there's no adjustable weight on this mouse but the mouse is quite comfortable and it's not too light and not too heavy so for most of the gaming uh, uh, community i think the mouse will be quite steady for the hand um, but as you can see it has a nice optical sensor there so the mouse is quite good in my opinion uh, now let's start with some features of the mouse we see here that uh, the mouse does come with a fantic system your fantic a daredevil system where you can change settings of the mouse uh, the settings on the mouse you can see you can change your um, your key settings so your buttons you can chop and change around and set different features to each button you have your parameters here where you can put your report rate to 1000 hertz so you can take it down 500 to 50 but that's up to you mouse sensitivity you can set your mouse sensitivity scrolling speed double click speed usually as a gamer i don't really set too much of this uh, here the mouse sensitivity i keep as is uh, the report rate i just make sure it's always 1000 there um, then you have your advanced settings where you can set your dpi on the six dpi levels you can make it as you please you can start from 200 dpi up to 10,000 dpi which is quite high and quite low for a mouse in this budget entry so it means you can set your dpi to what you prefer as you can see my dpi is currently on 400 800 1200 but you can set this as you want then on the right hand side you can set your leds you can make your leds going to steady uh brief neon or off now just to show you guys how the lights look like um I will just reflect it on the video as well so you can set your mouse settings to a steady setting where you can select one color and you can select for instance red and we will say apply and you'll see it has a constant red color there and you can change it to any color that you like uh, that's up to you blue or purple or whatever color you would prefer you can set it towards that there's enough options that you can use then you have your breathing option where you can choose a single color that it breathes you can also select the speed of how long the breathing section or the breathing mode must go on and if you view it you can see that it does breathe through that one single color that you chose then you also have the neon setting and you can change the speed of the neon which means it will randomly circulate throughout the colors of the rgb spectrum uh, and you can set the color uh, speed there as how long it must be on a specific color so you can make it less you can make it more but let's keep it two seconds and 
you will see then it will circulate every two seconds between a different color setting and this looks quite beautiful and this is the setting that I would probably like to use as I am an RGB freak so there you can see that then you also have your macro options where you can set up your macro list and keys so that you can use the macro settings of the mouse I am not too keen to use macros on mine, so I don't really set up mine but you do have the features and the option to set up your macro recordings on the mouse and then you have your support where you can also see what each button does you can get your profile you can import and export your profile as well so if, if you want to import it to a different pc you're welcome to but the mouse does have built-in memory so it is quite good for such a low costing mouse since you have your memory settings so you can plug it out you can plug it into a different pc and it will keep your settings as you set it on your computer so you don't have to reset your dpi or your lighting or anything on the mouse when you do travel with it so which is quite good so as you can see you do have this nice program you can download this program from fantex website um, it's quite a, a useful program it's a user-friendly program and you can see that all the features you need for the mouse are there uh, one more feature that the mouse does have which is quite good for me is you can set your dpi and on your screen it will show which dpi setting it is on so you'll see there on the left hand corner when you do set your dpi to 800 1200 it does show you a small screen there that will show you what dpi you currently are using on your mouse the only problem that I did find with this DPI setting is if you have the setting on and you do change your DPI while in game, it will throw you out of the game and I do feel that's just a software update or something that can fix it. But that's the only drawback I have for the current DPI pop-up screen that comes when you do change your DPI in game. So just keep in mind that when you do change your DPI in game, it will throw you out of the game. So the, the mouse is quite good to play with, it has very good quality, very good features. You'll see that it's quite easy to play with the mouse, uh, very comfortable in your hand. It's good to, to get used to it. Um, I am a SteelSeries fan, so I currently play on the SteelSeries Rival 310 mouse. And compared to Rival 310, the mouse is very comfortable in hand. It does give you that uh, feeling that you really do have a mouse that uh, fits your hand. I feel the mouse is more for palm grip but I am currently playing as a claw grip and as a claw grip the mouse is really not bad as you can see my hand is uh, very comfortable on it the thumb rest that it has is very good for your thumb it keeps your thumb in place and the pinky grip here is also good so the mouse in my opinion feels very good in hand feels very comfortable my hand does feel as if it fits it like a glove and even compared to my steel series rival 310 mouse that i currently use i do feel that this mouse is more comfortable than the steel series and that's going to be a big plus point for most of the gamers now if you have a look at the mouse response time is very good uh, as you play you can feel the mouse is responding to every move you make uh, the mouse is quite easy to use, the clicks are very comfortable, uh, the clicks response time is also very good. So in my opinion, very good mouse for first person shooters. I would definitely recommend this mouse for any first person shooter gamer, even the high end gamers, the professional gamers, as this mouse is really very comfortable to play with. Uh, it is quite cheap to buy, only 399 Rand from the Jand website, but uh, for the price, I do feel it's very underpriced as the quality that it does give you is quite good. And like I said, even the high-end professional gamers would also prefer this mouse because it's a very good mouse to play with. So overall verdict of this gaming mouse is that it is quite astonishing. The quality of the mouse is very good, the bolt quality is good, the feel is good, they really put some effort into the design as well, so the, the gaming mouse looks good, it feels good, it's very comfortable in your hand and it plays very good. It has the, th the thumb grip and the thumb rest so it's very easy to handle and it's not tiring your hand and for me personally like I said I am used to the Steel Series gaming mice and compared to that it's much more comfortable not that the steel series is not comfortable but just the feel of this mouse is very good in hand and you really feel like it fits you like a glove uh, overall uh, the performance of the mouse is very good uh, the tracking is on point uh, there's nothing i can say wrong about that uh, like we did discuss there is the feature that when you do change your dpi in game that it will throw you out because it will load that pop-up screen but you can fix this uh, by just exiting your fantech program on the right hand side of your computer if you come to this point 
or we can just hopefully wait for a software update but again this is not a major thing as the deep drive buttons are not in the way so you won't really press it and uh, in my opinion it's not, it's not a game changer so I would definitely recommend this mouse for you so if you have a budget for a gaming mouse for under 500 Rand but you want top high-end quality then don't look further than this Fantic X11 Daredevil gaming mouse from Jammed's website. It's www.jammed.co.za. So on their website, you can buy it for only 399 Rand in South Africa. I don't know what it retails in the rest of the world, but in South Africa, you can only buy it for 400 Rand basically. And it is a very good quality mouse for the price. So if you're looking for a very good gaming mouse, you want to uh, up your gaming performance definitely look no further and you can get this for under 500 rand so in conclusion i would say this is a very good gaming mouse i would recommend it for sure and as i am already a steel series fan it's really on point to what i'm used to so yeah overall good verdict and uh you can really buy this mouse so thank you everybody for tuning in for this review. Uh, we will get more reviews coming your way. Uh, please like and subscribe and comment if you want on our YouTube page. Also on all our other social media channels. We will have links underneath in the descriptions. Thanks guys. Bye.